In this tutorial video, you will learn how to use versioning in your document library. Versioning can also be enabled on any lists that have been created on your SharePoint site. Once you are in a document library, ensure that the Library tab has been selected on your ribbon. Next, under the Settings section, click Library Settings. On the left-hand side, under General Settings, click on Versioning Settings. Here we can see that versioning has not been turned on yet. Let's turn on Create Major Versions. Let's also turn on the Check In and Out functionality. This feature allows only one user to make changes to a document at a time. Let's click OK to save our changes. Let's navigate back to our document library. And let's add a new document to our library to test out these new features. You will see that the document is automatically checked out to me. Therefore, no one can edit this document until I check it in. So let's check that in and it automatically saves. Before continuing, I would recommend modifying the current view of this library to include the Checked Out To column. To do this, you must first click the three dots next to the All Documents. Next click Modify This View. Let's turn on Checked Out To. Let's also turn on Check In Comment and the version number. Let's click OK to save those changes. You'll see our newly added columns here. No one has currently checked out any documents. Let's open up our recently added document phone log. Since we did not check out the document before opening it, a notification is at the top reminding us that we must do so before we can make any changes. Let's click check out. Let's add an entry to our phone log and then save it. OK, I finished with my entry. Let's check it back in so others can see our changes and make further edits. Click File. And under Info, you'll see Check In. So let's do that. In the previous steps, we turned on the version comments, so let's add some comments and click OK. You will see that my check-in comments have been added and the versioning has been updated to 2.0. One of the great things about versioning is that you can restore previous versions. To do so, you must first check out the document. Next, you must click the three dots to the right of the document, and three dots again, and click on Version History. You will see all the edits that have been made. Let's restore the document to version 1. Click on the arrow to the right of the timestamp, and click on Restore. Click OK to replace the current version with version 1. Let's close this box and check in our document to save our changes. Let's make a comment that we've restored it to version 1. You will notice that it doesn't say version 1 here. It simply creates a new version. But if we open up our phone log, we will see that it is indeed version 1 that has been restored, as there are no entries in the phone log. We've successfully restored our document to version 1, and now can check it back in. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. For more videos like these, please go to the Corporate Internet YouTube channel.